Hey guys, and welcome back to Fatal Frame 2. When we last left off, we were exploring the first house that we've discovered in this village. Uh, sadly, we did discover the fate of the young woman who went looking for the surveyor. It appears that she was murdered in this house. Uh, we defeated her, listened to her um, tale of woe. <clears throat> and unfortunately, after the fight, we got knocked out. And in getting knocked out, we woke up to see our sister running off into the village. So, I guess it's about time we go and find her. Now, if you remember, there was one notebook that we didn't find. Notebook number five, and it is just here. Woman's notebook number five. A scrap torn from a notebook lies on top of the dilapidated chest of drawers. Now, I'm not going to promise I'm going to get every file because, like I said, I haven't actually like completed this game all the way through before. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that I get the files that I've already previously got. Uh, sometimes I hear an eerie song-like sound coming from the family altar. It sounds as if it's coming from a deep below from deep below. Maybe it's just the wind, or maybe there really is something behind that wall. Now, another interesting observation uh, when trying to find where that diary was, because I spent a little bit of time running around here looking for it, and I couldn't bloody find it, so I looked it up, and I'm like, really? It's hidden there? Okay. Uh, when I was looking things up, the diary entries are actually written slightly different between the PlayStation 2 version and the uh, Dream, uh, Dreamcast Xbox version. For an example, that diary there on the PlayStation 2 says, Sometimes I hear an eerie song-like sound coming from the family altar. It sounds like it's coming from deep below. Maybe it's just the wind. Or maybe there really is something behind that wall. Uh, and the one we just got was, I keep hearing this strange sound coming from the altar. It's a kind of song echoing from underground. Could it be the wind whistling through this old house? Or is there something on the other side of that wall? So there are some examples there. And from what I've looked at, pretty much every diary has slightly different wording, which is interesting, you know? So anyway, we've got Mayu's Charm. Looks like Mayu's Charm. Use the radio on the menu to listen to the words held within the stone. So kind of like the spirit stone uh, the ghosts leave behind. We can now listen to Mayo's thoughts. Now remember, she's not quite dead yet, I think, question mark. But if we listen to this periodically, it will let us know what she's thinking, which is kind of interesting. It's like every now and again you can check up on this stone and it will give you a very slightly uh, different bit of information. So I'm not sure how often that updates, but yeah, it's kind of interesting. Right, let's go outside. Now we've got the flashlight. Uh, I'm actually going to head all the way back out of the village because there was some stuff up here. Remember, um, Meow was a little bit too nervous to cross the bridge without a flashlight. But we have one now. So happy freaking days. Uh, I do remember there being some stuff back there. I can't remember exactly what it was. I think there's some healing. Oh. I have a feeling we get attacked up here. Look at that. Look at the way the lighting reacts off the actual buildings. Yeah, that's pretty bloody cool. Especially, uh, when did this game come out? 2000 and something. Yeah, that's very impressive. Now, like I said, apparently the lighting effects are um, overhauled and improved on the Xbox. But I'm sure you get a very similar kind of effect 
on the PS2. I was actually very surprised when I played the original on the PlayStation 2 to just how kind of well it, it held up and how good it looked. It was interesting. Right, and ooh. Oh. Right, so. When. That's bloody interesting. So, last time when I did this, there were not ghosts here. So that's interesting. Alright, let's try and get some double shots of these. Oh, triple shots. Yeah, triple shots, but not really getting us a lot of points. They are just the ignorant masses yearning to break free. Come on, ghosty boys. Give us something good. Actually, we could upgrade our camera. Haven't done that yet, have we? Probably a good shout. Ooh, look at this little sly one. Circling around to the side. That won't do. Right, so we got a kill. One down. I want to be weary of him. Because he has quite a range on him. Come on, you big burly fuck. There we go. He's gone. Got a feeling there's some behind us. Hopefully that finish him off. No. Just a core shot. Need him to get closer. Come on. That's it. That's what we wanted. Okay. That was interesting. I, yeah, I did not get attacked here before. Very, very cool stuff. Right, let's have a little look at our camera anyway. So, we have spirit orbs. So we have to put spirit orbs down before we can upgrade. So let's chuck a couple of spirit orbs down and then we can power them up. Like so. As you can see, it's very expensive. But unfortunately, uh, although we could afford to do accumulation, uh, because we haven't put a spirit orb in there, we can't actually do it. But increasing the power and range is Definitely something we're going to be focusing on early enough. Right, let's have a little look. I'm curious now. This is really cool. The roots of the giant tree... Uh, at the roots of a, the giant tree, there is a hole. It appears to lead into some sort of cave. Okay. Well, we can't access that cave, sadly. So here we are. We have a glowing blue crystal. Okay. What else have we got? And another spirit orb. Very nice. Certainly take that. Yeah, because uh, I remember my original recording of this, my original take. Um, I was saying how shocked and somewhat disappointed I was that we made it to the uh, graveyard and there was no ghosts there. I was like, that's really bizarre. If anywhere was going to have ghosts, you'd assume it would be the graveyard, but okay. Right, anyway, I think that went reasonably well, although we did sadly use up quite a lot of film there, but eh, it's going to happen. I think I should have upgraded my film before as well. Alright. Now let's go hit up the save point here. Just because. Yeah, very curious to see uh, if there are any other differences. Now I know in the original Fatal Frame, there were some kind of like random chance encounters with ghosts. 
So, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's kind of like related to that. Now, I did get attacked here. Um, but I did also come back here quite a bit later than this. In fact, it was on a different channel, a different channel, a different chapter. So whether that has anything to do with it, I'm not sure. Anywho, back to the village. Let's go see if we can find our sister. Who's probably, oh, lost in the deep dark. Let's also have a little listen to that blue, glowing blue stone, which actually looks like a black stone. But hey, what do I know? So, they're talking about performing a ritual themselves. I guess something went badly wrong with the ritual this time. Uh, not sure. I guess we're going to find out. Now, our sister went that way, so we're going to go this way. want to make sure that we don't leave anything behind. Because I like goodies, and I like exploring in these games. Don't worry, sis. We'll be... Ooh, it doesn't look as if there's anything left in the house. Okay. Uh, run down well. There's no water left in it. And a faint wind blows up from the dark depths. The surveyor must have been here, near the well. There is a piece of a note. Right, now remember we picked up that surveyor's note. Or whatever it was called in the last episode. I didn't get that before. It appears to be a continuation of the surveyor's notes that you found earlier. I looked down into the old well, but it was pitch black. I couldn't see a thing. If you listen closely, you can hear the wind blowing, and it seems that the water has all dried up. I can't tell which was here first, the house or the well. Neither has been used for a, a while. According to the records, this house used to belong to the powerful uh, Tisachahara family, and I know I said that wrong. In this village, the Osaka, Kiru, and uh, Tachibana, Tachibana families were also influential. Each house had its own crest and held the power in the village. Right, that's interesting because the first house that we went through had the crest of ginger. Uh, as a small group, they were also in charge of a spiritual ritual. Each was a branch of the Kirusawa family who administered to the ceremony. They performed the role of priests. The Kurosawa name is scattered throughout the literature, but no concrete information is written. I have no doubt that they held absolute power, though. Where in the world did the villagers go? And how do you get out of this village? The answers to these questions lie within the uh, ah, Kurosawa house. I'm not sure how I know, but I have a strong feeling about this. Alright, so... That's really bloody interesting, because I didn't get that last time. Ooh. Well, checker. Oh, the surveyor! Ooh, that's... Yes. So we got none of that last time. Now, I know we can go down here. I found this out as well. Guy. What are you still doing here? Who are you? The ritual will begin soon. If that happens. You bank, huh? Yai, you and Sai, I guess, have got to get out. She's at the ceremony master's house. She's going to do it. Go get her. There's still time to catch up with her. Yai, the ritual is about to start. Hurry. Yeah, interesting. Yai, you say. Trapped boy. 
I'm not sure if that's, there's like any use to that, but okay. Right, so I came back here uh, the first time I played it, and I was quite surprised to find a trapped ghost boy calling us a yai. So we have a ghost that's offering to help us. Although he does seem to be confused and think we're actually somebody else. Which is interesting. Anyway, let's keep going. Ooh. Something's down here. Ooh. Frozen man. Didn't get that before. Cool. Alright, well, it's always nice to get some more pictures. Although I'm not sure if all these pictures are giving us points. So, the door is broken and you can see into the dim house. There are other rooms further in, but you can't see them from here. And I hope my fan isn't too distracting, but I have to have it on. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. Okay. So our sister went down here. I don't think there's much this way we can search. There is a long winding path that goes that way, but ooh, we're not going to worry about it. Okay, I get the feeling that should have registered, but it didn't. Now, when I played this, uh, last time, I didn't realize we could go down here. I actually went this way. Because this game's so dark, I didn't see those stairs going down, but I actually went into this house. Looks as if you can enter the building here. So what we're going to do, we're going to enter this house, because there are some goodies in here. Uh, potentially, we are also going to swap up to that film too. Now I'm guessing we actually have to come back here later but like I say let's have a little wander around here now ah that's right we've got a projection system here which doesn't really look like it shows us much nothing really there that I recognize anyway yeah and that's that there's a heavy curtain here that we can't do anything with. Oh. 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 Hello. Hello. Who are you? Missed her then. I do not remember fighting her in here. I remember fighting her, but it wasn't here. Ooh, that was a good shot. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, hi. Hello. I do like the way they just appear, <laughs> like tap you on the shoulder. Me too. What are you talking about, woman? Come on. There we go. Oof. 
certainly running out of film a little bit now. Come on. Mrs. I've got a broken neck, apparently. There we go. She's done. Help you. Ah, dude, look, I would... I would like to help you. Okay, believe me, I would, but... Uh, I think you're beyond helping. Okay. So that one's locked. How many points have we got now? Oh, we can almost get the second level of power. Cool. So there's nothing actually here. There's nothing on the projection screen. No. Okay. Yeah, uh, again, I fought her in a different place, which is kind of curious. I fought her at the bottom of the stairs. Got some medicine. Medicine's nice, but we're at that point now where we could really use some film. Just saying. I know I'm always in want, but... Right. What have you got for me? Oh, found some camera equipment and film. Ah, the stun power up. Okay, so that, unlike slow, which temporarily slows them down, that just stuns them in place, I guess. Not convinced that's going to be super useful. A small lamp light lights the surface of the table. And we got the folklorist's notes too. The guardian deity statues in this area are different that they are uh, in that they are engraved with shrine maidens. Now shrine maidens is a callback to the original game. The village children say that the statues honour the gods of the village. Also, a book in the house links the statues to something called the Crimson Sacrifice. Maybe the forbidden ritual is related to this Crimson Sacrifice. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. There's nothing on the kimono. And we can't go through there. So how many shots of film do we have left? We're back up to 57, which is really quite nice. Now I know this door opens up. And you can't see it. <laughs> Very hard to see. But there is a crystal there that I found. Now this door over yonder should be shut. Yeah, this one's locked. Now, let's go see if we get attacked leaving this place. Because that was my experience. So my experience is that weird broken necked ghost attacked when I came down these stairs. I guess not. How interesting. Yeah, so there's definitely is some slight variation with what actually goes on. Which I really freaking like. Okay, so let's have a listen to our new crystal. Well, that was um, <clears throat> unpleasant, to say the least. Yeah, nothing nothing good and fun seems to have happened here. Okay. Well, let's keep going down. So this is where our sister went, apparently. Now we've got some trash to take out and I'm actually tempted. Let's give the type 7 a go, shall we? 
pretty sure this Type 7 is useless. But, in the interest of saving a little bit of film, let's see what we can do with it. Yeah, as you can see, it's basically worthless and takes an incredibly long time to recharge. Right, okay. Let's just back up. So it's kind of cool that you get an unlimited amount of film, at least. But yeah, it's just a shame that it is so useless. It's useless. I can't actually see where I am or what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, it's useless to the point where there's no point in using it at all. Alright, maybe if we level our film up a bit more, it will do more damage. That was a nice shot. We could probably finish him off with the basic film. Yeah. In fact, not really worth it. Just use this stuff. Right, so he's gone. I can't see where this guy actually ever goes in for an attack. He just seems to circle around. Now, here they are. Is there still more? No, they're gone. Ooh, don't know if I found that before. Yeah, so uh, Type 7 film is ugh, very icky. Very icky. Right, let's go take a shot of this. Camera. Ooh, no. So, are you going to give us anything? I guess not. There we go. Something can be seen in the photo. Looks like crimson butterflies. Well, the gate is stuck fast. There are ornaments on the left and right doors depicting two people. There is a slot in each of the ornaments for inserting a flat square key. So we need to find keys. Okay. Let's... Ah, oh, we're so close. We need eight more points to upgrade our camera again. Okay. Well, let's go look for these crimson butterflies then, shall we? How hard can they be to find? Uh, what's up here though? Let's take a little peek up here. We have another house. Now, I can't actually remember. Oh, <laughs> right. I can't actually remember what's in this house. Ah, locked door. Right, got ya. That makes sense. That's why I can't remember what was in there, I suppose. So, crimson butterflies. Okay. Be nicer if we moved a bit quicker. But then, to be fair... Oof. Hello. Hello. Where are you taking me? Looks like we're playing follow the leader. Let's follow these guys. Now, if it looked like our sister is doing her best to follow these things. So it seems like a reasonable idea that we should do the same. However, I'm pretty sure... Ah, look where they're leading us. How interesting. Now, unfortunately, we are literally out of time. <laughs> so, let's drop a save here. And when we come back, we're going to continue following these crimson butterflies. Now, I don't know about you guys. Um... But I am really, 
really enjoying this. So when we come back, uh, I guess we're going to go talk to that boy behind, the one that's trapped. Uh, we're going to find out. Till then, guys. Till then. <laughs> 